So what's going on guys, this is your boy Rujan and today um, I want to show you how you model some sweet low poly uh, pumpkins. So as you guys know, Halloween is around the corner and you can't model a scene without pumpkins. So let's jump right in. At first, we are gonna uh, need a sphere object. Turn down the segments to like 12, delete the funk tag and press C on your keyboard to make it editable. As next, um, we have to scale it up to like something like that. Yep. Then we are gonna grab a cloner and drag our sphere object into the cloner. And click on your cloner, go to mode, radial, and set it to um, XSET. Uh, yes, except then um, increase the amount of sphere objects you have and put the radius to like oh, let's make seven. All right, make sure that you have a little hole in this uh, in the middle of your object so that's good um as next scale it down a little oops we have to scale it down a little bit to have this oval um oval look from a pumpkin all right so the next what we're going to do is to model the eyes of the pumpkins. So um, grab a, oops, grab a, an egg spline, the sides to free, so we have a triangle. Uh, bring it down to like Make it down like oh, oops. So it looks good for an eye. Okay. To like something like that. Now I have 25. Yeah, that's great. So then grab it, then extrude it. Increase the height. And duplicate it and bring it to the other side, like around here. Oh, maybe here. Yep, that's fine. Um, then select both of these objects, press C on your keyboard to make it editable. Um, select children, press again C, select children, and connect and delete objects. So now we have both of our eyes in one object. So what we're going to do next is grab a bowl object and drag both of them into this. And here are our eyes. So you have to put the clone above the extrude eyes. Let's call this eyes. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is to grab a um, material oh well I forgot something go to your clone object select your sphere object and grab a polygon reduction and go bring it to like 50 oops nope I wasn't what I want to do oh well all right all right no I don't forget something sorry about that so what we're going to do is to make some materials for now. This one is for the outside of our pumpkin. So um, go to texture, Fresnel, and get some orange here and some dark orange here. This is for the outside of our pumpkin. Uh, maybe it's too orange. Um, yeah, that looks good. And create a new material, call this one 
outside and this one inside. Oops, I make here the same Fresnel, but here you have to make a, a more soft orange. Something like that. And drag this object on your eyes. So the material is going to be inside the eye. Makes a sweet little effect. So next, press C on your keyboard to make it editable. Select children and connect on delete objects. Delete the font tag. And here you have a pumpkin with eyes. Of course you can do it do that without the eyes, but it looks sweet with eyes. So now again what we're going to do is grab a polygon reduction, drag it under your pumpkin and turn it down to like 50. Oh. Oh sorry, 38 looks great. So this makes the polygon low poly effect that we want. Let's call this pumpkin. Yep. So the next step, what we're going to do is to make a tree, uh, to make the trunk of our pumpkin. So let's grab a, an object again, bring it to the exact X set side, um, and turn it way down to like we have the. Yeah, like that. Then drag it under your, uh, so you can't see it from above. And um, now we have to grab a loft here and drag our an object into the loft. Now what we're going to do is uh, holding command and drag it the an object under our other our under our first an object and drag this one above and scale it down a little bit and then rotate it a little bit very a little bit then command drag this one up scale it down and rotate it again then command Drag it up, scale it, rotate it, command, uh, duplicate this one, then scale it up, uh, bring it up, scale it down, and the last one, oops, oh, well, Rotate this again. Oops. Rotate our oh, fall. This one here to a little bit. And then duplicate one and bring it up and scale it down. So it looks like a trunk. Yep, that looks sweet. So press E on your keyboard to make it editable. Select children and connect and delete objects. Make sure to delete the font tag. So now you can see the shape of our trunk. But what we want is the low poly effect too. So grab a polygon reduction, drag it under your object and turn it down to like 98. Let's call this trunk. And so now we have our trunk. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, oops, this is inside. Create a new material for our trunk. Go to Fresno and we make this one brown. Like that and a brown like that and drag this material on 
your trunk. Oops. Let's call this material trunk. So now we have a uh, pumpkin. Um, what we're going to do next is um, a little bit lighting to make it looks like a scary scene. So um, grab a, a, this one right here, this light. I don't. I, Sorry, but sometimes I forget, oh, forgot some English words because I'm German, so sorry about that. Uh, go to uh, this, go to um, uh, the shadow to shadow maps soft. Um, then go to uh, shadow, um, where is it? Oh, under the shadows. Go to uh, volumetric and drag this one right out and the first a little bit in and scale the whole light a little bit up. So Yep, that looked good. Then go to um, noise, make to both, and let the settings like that. And go to your render option, render objects. Um, go to effects, ambient occlusion, and global illumination, and render it out for the first time to see what we have, what we have done with the light. What the light does, it adds these turbulence right here, and this looks very, very scary. But we have to scale it up because this looks too small. So let's see how that looks. Nope, that's too big. So you can play around with these settings to find a, a perfect setting for your scene. But it, it looks like fox, so it comes out very good. Oh, that looks pretty sweet. Yep, I keep that up. I keep that setting. Um. Let's play around more with our settings right here. You can play around with polygon reduction, so it has it. Sh it should look like some triangles right here. So now what we're going to do is duplicate that light. No, we don't have to duplicate it. Grab a new light object. Go to this. Set from point to area and the shadow to area. Go into your details. Samples to like 50. Fall off to uh, physical right. And scale it down so it is inside so it is like that. Then, um, no, well, uh, what is it? Uh, sample thickness to like 50 and make it orange, a very strong orange. So, something like that. Drag it Y into you. So now we have to find the perfect position for the light for our eyes. So it looks like that our eyes are shining red. Bring it to like that. Um, I hope. Hmm. We have to play around a little bit to make 
like it looks like. Oh, I got the problem here. We have some problems with our inner eye. So I have to delete these two things here. And now we're going to have a pretty nice pumpkin eye, which shines red. I hope that does it work now. I'm pretty sure. Uh, scale it. Oops. Scale the light up. Hmm. I'm sorry that I mess around, but that's very awful to find the perfect position for your light. So you have to play around to find the perfect position for the light that your eyes looking like they shine red okay let's keep this zoom out a little bit render it out and now you have a scary little pumpkin which you can use in your scene so I hope you liked this tutorial and thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.